years back, I found myself in Albany for no better purpose than other than I was in Hudson, New York, or on my way for a concert, and we stopped in town, and I was mesmerized by the architecture in the downtown core. Here at Empire Plaza in the state capital of New York State, I actually didn't get to visit that long or long enough the last time I was here. Thus, I've come back to get a full scope of what this facility is about. Built from 1966 and opened in 1975, with other various buildings opening shortly thereafter, including the egg behind me, the most iconic probably building of the mall here. It is a remarkable facility, vast, sterile, Brazilian-esque, or Brasilia-esque. There's so much going on, there's so much to explore. There's art, there's a museum, there's a tower, an observation tower just behind me here too. We're gonna to try to get as much as this as we can in and maybe a tour of the facility itself later on today. First stop on our trip is the Corning Tower, which has an observation deck at the top 44th floor of this monolith of a structure. It is a self guided elevator that takes you straight up. So you don't even have to, you just come to this spot and the elevator will take you where you're going. I don't know if we have to wait. Can we press the closed door because nobody's here? Yes, we can. You can see from here how literally this structure cut into the community below where the boundaries were. So as we are on the shore of the Hudson here, you can see some of the major buildings of the city, a city barely of 100,000 people in its municipal center, which is crazy to think about it being the capital of New York State. But you do have MVP Arena, which has had many names over the years. Uh, it is, you know, obviously servicing the greater 1.1 million that live here in the greater Albany area. This is actually where we just arrived from on that drive in which has to be one of the most stunning drives into a municipal center that I've ever experienced. That's what brought me back here. The docks of Albany in the background. And you can also see a lot of drift patterns on the parking garage below. As you can see there is literally nobody here. This is a underappreciated Traction. It was also free of charge, so it's definitely worth coming to check out if you happen to be in the area. It takes a couple minutes. Some of the most impressive parts of the design of this facility are these structures that you see below, which I don't even know what to call them, but they look like that they're relief valves for the building, like that they're for the ventilation of the garage below. They do have water in them. Besides that, you see below the egg, which unfortunately I won't be able to go into today because there's no show, but I desperately want to check out that facility at some point. It is a fascinating structure. It is also the only concrete clad structure in this facility as all the rest of the buildings are covered with masonry of some sort. The actual downtown core of Albany itself 
some highlights including the old city hall which you see in the center just beyond it is the court of appeals the train station is actually hidden behind those buildings the cluster of buildings on the right behind the Hilton it's no longer a train station anymore you can kind of make it out right at the top of the Hilton building it is behind there. If you the see building in the far right architecture is there. the New York State University building, the legislative or administrative building. All right, well that's it for the Corning Tower. Definitely worth coming up here. Free of charge. Okay, we are out of the Corning Tower behind me. I'm very glad that actually that observation deck existed because I wanted to go into one of these towers for the longest time. There's 11,000 employees that work in this complex, which is crazy to think about, and they're all parked below us. And once the workday is done, they get out of town, as I do recall the last time I was here. But there's just so many brilliant sight lines. Imagine working in a place like this that really is it reminds me of Brasilia and Brazil, the capital of Brazil, obviously, of which it was definitely inspired by. And as you can see, you can just kind of take it all in. If you like this type of architecture like I do, it is awe-inspiring to behold. Let's do a little tour of the outside, get an idea of what this complex is about. Before we head off to this large building on the left, which is the New York State Museum, which I believe will comprise a different vlog since it is quite a museum collection. As I mentioned, they have a lot of sort of art installations out here, including this one, which really reminds me of some of the stuff that was created in the 70s of my childhood. Well, I was an 80s kid, but this stuff was produced in the 70s. It has a very distinctive look, that concrete blocky, smoothed edged forms etc it's been a while since our class this is actually all made out of wood fascinatingly enough chocolate milk is not part of the insulation it really gives me like kind of like a medieval feel looking at the wall that they clad this building in but you can get a feel of it here um, and all obviously the repair work on the other side of it. This is where we came in as mentioned. But once you get down there, there's not much to look at. It's all up here. The Law and Justice Building, which in its own right is actually a fascinating building architecturally. Also to mention is the, of course, New York State Capitol Building, which is here, designed by five different architects and open in the late 1800s. One of those architects actually being the former, or the architect of the Parliament Buildings of Canada. Fascinatingly enough, but unfortunately he was fired from the job. Therefore, you see various different styles of architecture for, per floor in this building. It's a beautiful building with an identity crisis without question. There are many different styles of architecture deployed in the final design of this building. We've arrived at the Justice Building, as I mentioned from the other side. There's a Vietnam War Memorial over here. and a far better access point to the main concourse. We don't have to go in the legal building and have a get strip searched. I absolutely love this place. Yeah, it's sterile, it's cold, it's clinical, but it really is a feat of architecture and engineering that uh, really deserves more praise than it gets, I think at least for people like myself that didn't even know about it until doing a little bit more research into my local area. 
passageways and nooks and crannies and you have all like these these offices in here they're just so tan they kind of look like a museum in, in their own right We are now in the concourse underneath the main plaza. It's a six-story podium, and as I've discovered, it's one of the largest buildings ever constructed in the world. It comprises almost everything that you see on the major map. It is a giant rectangular base of which this entire complex is built. Quite fascinating. There's so much here to see that hopefully in the brief time that we're here, we'll be able to get it all in. It also takes a bit to walk because it's quite large. 95 acres that they took over from the city of Albany that was already developed at the time of when this project was proposed. Thus, various communities in Albany were lost when this building was constructed. Also worth noting, in case you are an art fan, that this entire complex is littered with, I guess litter isn't the right term, but decorated throughout the facility with various installations of large-scale artworks of one of which you see here. Some of these works are so large you can't get them in a single shot, but I'm doing my best. A lot of these paintings date from the late 60s, early 70s, as that was the time of which they were commissioned. There's just no shortage of cool things to look at, and I really do kind of like this art piece and the one on the opposite side. It's fascinating uh, the amount of work that's been done here. Really this whole plaza now is just a spot for people to wander around on their cell phones and have various conversations business-wise I'm sure in relation to New York State. This is essentially an art museum and a history museum all built into one as there's a lot of modern art pieces here to check out, which is kind of cool. And I love large installation works. And so if you like that, this is definitely a spot for yourself as well. Of course, I'm not checking out the artists for each piece. I'm sure there's plenty of information available on Wikipedia about which is what. Time being what it is, it just does not allow me to go that in depth what we're looking at here. We're trying to make this as comprehensive of a tour as possible and due to a sudden change of plans it's going to be as comprehensive I think as possible period. But for now you have a food court facility it's not really that well decked out it's got the usual suspects. Uh, I've got my croissant and parfait from the bakery au bon pain that you can see on that side. I'm gonna go upstairs, however, to eat this. Beyond us here is Agency Building 1, 2, 3, and 4 in the background. Very similar in design to the Corning Building on the opposite side that we actually were in earlier. However, these buildings are much smaller and they're not available to tour. This vast building that I, for some reason, think I'm gonna get through in an hour is the New York State Museum. We've just finished the museum tour behind me. Uh, definitely a separate vlog as it was way more vast and comprehensive and impressive than I actually thought it would be. Definitely don't miss that museum if you're a fan of say New York State history, 9-11, so much architecture, automobiles, aviation. It was really remarkable. Agriculture, it was remarkable. And this is the Swan Street Building, which is, as mentioned, a quarter of a mile long alone. It is massive. The egg features two theaters, one nearly at a thousand seats and a smaller studio theater that is 450 seats. A 
is probably the jewel of this particular complex. When I planned this vlog, I did not anticipate that it was going to be two epic vlogs here from Albany and I didn't even actually cover the town itself. Right behind me, the downtown, completely untouched. I'm going to Lake George, so I'm going to keep myself on time, but I'm promising to myself that I'm going to come back because I've enjoyed every single minute of my brief stay here in town, exploring the Empire State Plaza and the museums, the tour of the egg and beyond. Morning Tower. There's just so much that I didn't anticipate would keep me busy and entertained, all free of charge as well. So really when you think, think about uh, value and something that's actually educational and worth your time, you got to come out here and check it out if you happen to be in the Albany area. All right, that's it for now guys. Thanks for dropping in. Hope you enjoyed the tour.